All right, guys, I'm here at work. I'm coming back to my car here because it's my break time. So welcome back to my channel, guys, Pinoy Abroad. today's video I want to talk about taxes so taxes they're very important guys you need to know about this especially for you guys out there who are aspiring to come to the United States to work um, marami sa atin na nasa Pilipinas o nasa ibang bansa outside the United States especially those countries that don't uh, collect too much taxes from their employer like Abu Dhabi or UAE somewhere there um, Nasusupresa sila pagdating dito sa US, gano kalaki ang taxes. So, also like my wife, she's from the Philippines, she came here. Um, reality versus expectation. She got a little sad because, you know, yung calculate siya sa Pilipinas, she thought she was gonna make this much, but then when she got here, nakita niya marami kaltas and stuff. So, I just want to prep you guys. So, if you're uh, wanting to come here and work here, you have to embrace the fact that you're gonna have to be paying taxes as well. Um, so, uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not an accountant, so if you want to go in depth about taxes and you want to know more in detail about taxes, then you probably should consult an accountant when you get here. Itong sa akin guys, this is just, uh, you know, a little bit of an education for you na para ma-familiarize lang kayo sa mga taxes um, this is based on my experience I'm not very expert about taxes so I'm just gonna give you my experience here so there are few types of taxes that you um, will come across when you come here to the states and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the main taxes that you have to know you know um, Let's start with the federal taxes. So these are, so this is like the primary taxes. This is the most common one. Federal taxes, and then you get the state taxes. You get the property taxes. You have the sales taxes. Uh, you also have your social security tax. You also have your Medicare tax. Well, your Medicare tax and your social security tax are combined together. Um, together. These two combine in addition to your federal income tax. So it's taken out from your paycheck every two weeks. So federal income tax, what is a federal income tax? So from the word federal, it, it's talking about the, the bigger government here in the United States, so the country. Um, so a federal tax is being collected through your income. So when you get your paycheck from your employer, you take it out there um, depending on your filing status so kung single ka ba married ka ba married filing jointly ka ba married filing separately ka ba or are you the head of the household head of the household means you are single and you are providing for like maybe you have a kid or your family or something and you're not married to that person so you could qualify as a head of the household um, Single filers are usually being taxed more than the, the married filers um, and the head of the household. Um, just because wala sila masyadong dependent, nag-iisa lang sila. Akin guys, nasa 22% ako. So if I, um, sa, sa paycheck ko, if I'm um, getting, sabihin na natin ang sweldo ko in two weeks is uh, 2,500 let's say, like, ganun kalaki. Um, so, babawasan ng federal income tax yun um, around mga 22% or something sometimes hindi siya accurate dahil sa uh, may mga tao na gusto nilang ayaw nilang pabawasan lahat ng taxes nila you have the option na wag mo muna pabawas yung lahat ng tax mo pero ayaw ko yung idea na yun because at the end of the year magbabayad ka sa kanila eh unlike kung ipabawas mo na lahat ng taxes mo Kung sumobra man, at the end of the year, may makukuha ang refund. So basically, taxes are being collected to you through your paycheck. And when you're purchasing something or when you're selling something, um, kung may money out, 
may tax. Pag may money in, tax pa rin. Ganun ang buhay dito. So this whole tax thing is very broad, guys. Um, I just want to focus on the more important ones kasi we could talk about it the whole day. Uh, but I don't want to prolong this video. So I'm gonna just go straight to the point to you guys so that um, maintindihan nyo ng mas madali. So, I hope you're pretty clear. I'm pretty clear with the federal taxes. Federal taxes, yun yung kinukuha, yun yung ginagamit ng gobyerno um, as a whole sa buong bansa. Federal, yun eh, federal. So, ginagamit yun sa federal funds. Um, second there is state taxes. Yung state taxes mo, average yun guys. I'll show you a picture here of states and their average state taxes. So, in Minnesota, kasi nakatira ako dito, I don't know in other states, I don't know what their um, average state tax there. Over here, it's around 7%, I think. So, besides the state tax, you also have sales tax and you also have property tax na kinokollect yun ng state. Doon kumikita ang state. So, I'll explain to you one by one about what they are. So, yung state tax, guys, um, that's pretty much standard. Uh, kung 7% yan dito sa Minnesota so addition yun kung halimbawa kailan ba yung ginagamit so let's say you want to purchase something um, even then guys mahirap pa din explain kasi kung may bibilhin ka dito sa Minnesota depende sa kung anong bibilhin mo kasi sa Minnesota meron silang batas na if you're buying something that is considered necessity like damit mga sapatos uh, kung grocery ba yung bibilhin mo necessity yun so hindi kanila ita tax pero kung ang bibilin mo is food na ready made na na niluto na sa gro uh, sa restaurant then ita tax kanila don kung bibili ka naman ng electronics or yung Louis Vuitton mo mga mamahaling bag ita tax ka kung bibili ka ng um, mga si yung cigarettes yung mga bagay na in, alam mo yon hindi naman importante ita tax ka pa rin nila don so paano kanila ita tax don Yung 7%, I think yung 6.88% na, na state tax, um, sorry it's not 7% but it's like 6.88%. So 6.88% na state tax plus yung city tax plus yung county tax plus other taxes na nakapatong pa dun. So I'll give you an example guys. So if I live here in Minnesota and if I live in Minneapolis Minneapolis is the city so Minneapolis is uh, uh, within the jurisdiction of Hennepin County explain ko muna sa inyo so you have United States as the country right and United States is divided into different states um, each state is also divided into different counties and each county is divided into different municipalities uh, different suburbs cities township may mga ganun -ganun. so Minnesota, then you have the county, Hennepin County. Within Hennepin County, you have Minneapolis. Isa lang yung Minneapolis sa mga city na nakapaloob sa Hennepin County. So in Minnesota, you have 6.88% of state tax plus yung sales tax sa Hennepin County which is 0.15% plus yung sales tax sa city which is 0.5%. Plus, meron pa yung addition na parang um, transit tax na mga tinatawag nila para um, to build like transit um, infrastructures na mga ganun, ganun Another 0.5. So, total of 8.3% tax. So, that means kung bibili ka ng something, yun ang pinag-usapan natin kanina na hindi necessity or something. Nabili mo yung lase, bumili ka ng electronic. Mag-i-charge ka ng 8.3%. 3% na tax. Wala kang federal tax doon ha, okay? Uh, I just wanted to make that clear na walang federal tax na ito charge doon pag bumili ka ng something. Yung federal tax, kinukuha lang yun doon sa income mo. So, punta naman tayo ngayon sa tinatawag nilang property tax. Ano yung property tax? So, if you own a house, you own a building na pinaparent mo or something, if you're a business owner, you have a property, right? Tinataxan ka doon. So, let's say ako kasi, may bahay kami dito sa Minnesota. May property tax yun. Yung property tax na determine yun by the school district, kung saan school district ka. So, if you live in a certain county, let's say you live in Hennepin County, ano ba yung average state tax doon? I'll give you an example. Iba pang example, if you live in like Washington County, mas familiarize ako doon. Um, sabihin natin, average doon is 
0.09% um, property tax. Average lang yun kasi depende kasi sa school district eh, kung saan ka malapit na school district. Um, sa amin, our, in our case, uh, yung school district namin na malapit kami, ang property tax niya doon is I think 1.09%. So, yun ang babayaran mo every year. Kinakaltas yun doon sa mortgage mo. So, once nagbay ka ng mortgage, yung mortgage na business, say, ang mortgage mo is $2,000, kalkulado na yun, nandun na yung taxes, lahat, lahat ng insurance, nandun na, kinukuha na yun ng gobyerno. So, that means, yung mortgage na binabayad mo, direct na na din yun, binabayad nila doon sa property tax. At the end of the year, minsan may makukuha kang refund. Kasi, minsan nasusobra yung pagbabayad doon sa property tax. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, tanong nyo lang ako down in the comment section. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by also hitting the bell button. And then share this video to whoever you think can benefit from this video as well. Mga friends nyo or sino man. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. I hope I'll see you next time. Peace.